Hey guys. You may have noticed that the Meanwhile LDD series of uh, PWM constant current drivers have been pretty popular lately with the DIY LED crowd. And that's really because they're so convenient to use. They're in a single package, really not much to it. You plug it in, you connect the power supply, you connect the PWM inputs from your controller, and you hook up your LED LEDs and well they just simply work and they're available in pretty good current ratings this one being the highest one available 1000 milliamps and something that people have been doing in order to simplify the wiring is to build boards that uh, basically carrier boards for these guys so you can integrate two three four five drivers onto a single board and well that's what we have here this is a five driver board. We also offer four driver boards, the triple driver board, and also the double driver board. And each of these boards comes pre-soldered with a pull-down resistor that makes the output uh, on the LED side default to off in the absence of a signal. And it also comes with uh, the appropriate uh, terminal blocks to connect all of your inputs and outputs. And they simply drop in. And you grab your LDDs from your favorite, favorite supplier. Uh, we recommend Rapid LED. I believe they're going to be selling them pretty shortly for good prices. And drop in the other driver. Really quite simple. And all that's left to do is to add some solder on the back side for each of those pins. And there you have it, a fully integrated LDD board. And once that soldering is done, you can end up with something like this. This is the five channel driver. And it's been fully soldered up. And you know, it's pretty secure. You can have all your inputs, all your outputs, etc. And with all of that done, you simply need to hook it up to your LEDs. And so this LED here was provided to us by Dave over at nanoboxreef.com. And it's being driven at 700 milliamps uh, via our uh, very own storm controller. And so let's just take a look at what happens here. Uh, these LDDs are doing their job, accepting the PWM signal from the controller. And as you can see, we can blast the controller to really blinding levels of lights. Perfect for growing all of your aquarium goodies. As you may or may not know, the Storm Controller offers 256 levels of dimming, and the Storm X, which we also offer, uh, goes up to 4,096 levels of dimming. And so, let's say that your lights are, are on for the day, and for some reason the driver gets disconnected. Well, without the pull-down resistors that I mentioned earlier, uh, the LDDs would default to full blast. They would go to 100% power. But with the pull downs, you unplug your controller, well, then the lights turn off. And that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in.